All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today, I'm going to attempt to extract prussic acid from peach pits. Uh, prussic acid has many uses in making plastics, dyes, adhesives, and also in uh, gold mining. Uh, stone fruit, such as this, has a high content of chemicals which will hydrolyze to form prussic acid. And peach pits, along with other stone fruits such as cherries, apples, etc., have high levels of chemicals which break down through hydrolysis into the prussic acid. The idea is to take the peach pit, crack it open to extract the little almond that's inside. Now this isn't actually an almond. This is uh, maybe what's called a bitter almond. It is very bitter and quite toxic, so don't eat these. But now I'm going to collect these, crush them up, and then put them in here. Once they're in this flask, I will add some water and then drip a strong acid onto it through this glassware. Then I will turn on the heat and distill over some of the water along with the prussic acid. And over here I will have some lye uh, so as to neutralize the prussic acid so that it doesn't uh, vaporize and get off into the air, as it is a gas at room temperature. I will also have a secondary scrubbing flask over here, and I'm doing this all inside of a fume hood. The prussic acid is about as toxic as hydrogen sulfide, but it also does not have a very strong smell. Some people can't smell it at all. This makes it potentially even more dangerous. The amount of prussic acid that I'll be making here is probably not even an amount to be lethal, but there's always that possibility, so take as many precautions as I can. Here's all of the almonds extracted from the peach pits. 34 grams. Okay, I've got the chopped up almond pieces inside of the flask. i turn on a stir bar. I think there's something wrong with my stir plate. It's like all the way on or all the way off. Anyway, I've got some sodium hydroxide down here. As you can see, that's about 2 grams, which is certainly in excess, especially considering that I've got about uh, 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in that flask. But I'd rather capture everything. I've also primed the condenser with a little bit of water. That way, when the gas is coming over, it's able to absorb into it. Let's add in some sulfuric acid. Probably nothing will happen at this temperature, especially because the prussic acid is very soluble in water. But, uh, actually there was something that happened. Let me put a little more in. Yeah, the solution's gone a bit milky. Well, this probably means it's working. So let's uh, turn on the hot plate. It's kind of like ammonia. It's highly soluble in water. But uh, once the water's boiling, it'll drive it off. So I just uh, gotta wait a little while. This reaction is a hydrolysis reaction. This is where you're adding water to split molecules apart. Very similar to how I was splitting the starches and the potatoes into sugar in a uh, previous video. This reaction will happen normally, just with water, over time. In a few years, the uh, almonds may contain no a measurable amount of the compound. But if I want it to happen in just a few seconds, I'm going to have to raise the temperature and decrease the pH. What I'll form over here is the salt of prussic acid and sodium hydroxide, sodium prussate, which is far safer due to its low volatility. Plus, the sodium or potassium salt is what I need to dissolve gold anyway. So there's a bit of a problem. Uh, clearly this condenser was not the right one to use. The water has plugged the coil, so now the gas can't move down into it very easily. And uh, it looks like most of the gas that I produced has actually migrated up and is absorbed into the acid here. So I think the best thing to do would be to drain this down back into our uh, flask where it's hot. Alright, all the acid is drained through into here. Since I had let everything cool off, all of the prussic acid will have uh, re-dissolved into the solution. And so I uh, 
removed the dropping funnel. That should uh, make the recovery a little bit better. All right, I've let it cool off once again. Now let's open it up. Let's see if we can drain this fluid out. We're going to add some sodium thiosulfate to destroy any remaining uh, prussic acid. That way it'll be safe to dispose of. Alright, so here's the nasty looking liquid that we formed. Now this should be clear, but it's not that much of a stretch to assume that I've got some contaminants. I imagine some uh, oils and stuff distilled over. But that shouldn't be a problem. But just to check to make sure that we have made what I think I've made, let's add some to a beaker, just a little bit, a few drops. Okay. Now to this I'm going to add some ferrous sulfate. That's just a source of iron ions. Okay, it's gone a bit green. That's to be expected due to the uh, excess alkali that we have in the solution. So I'll just get this mixed up a little bit here. Okay. And now, if I add some hydrochloric acid, this should turn blue. Just add in a little bit to acidify the solution. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so what I've made here is Prussian blue. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> but this is the pigment that they used for making blueprints. That means that I have made the correct chemical. So now, let's clean this out and see if it can dissolve gold. Now to dissolve the gold, I'm going to add some of this sodium prussate solution to the beaker. Probably don't need very much. Save this for later. And uh, now I need a source of oxygen. Now, I could use air, or you know, bubble oxygen through it. Uh, much faster though, if I use some hydrogen peroxide. Because actually hydrogen peroxide is made as an intermediate in the reaction. So now, just add in my gold leaf here. Okay. And I'll see if it'll dissolve. Well, the gold's mostly dissolved. <laughs> took a lot longer than I was expecting. Uh, mostly that's due to the fact that the amount of the prussic acid that I produced is probably less than 50 milligrams. So 50 milligrams spread out over 20 milliliters is pretty dilute. Also, it's relatively cold in my lab today. But there you have it. Dissolving gold with peach pits. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.